Hi, my name is Dr. Yuri Saidoloftis, and I am a gastroenterologist at Mayo Clinic with a special interest in gastrointestinal motility problems. Motility refers to the movement of food through the stomach, small intestine, and colon. In this video, I'm going to talk about irritable bowel syndrome, also known as IBS. What is IBS? The hallmarks of IBS are abdominal pain or discomfort that is associated with diarrhea or constipation type symptoms. This means individuals with IBS will develop pain that is relieved by having a bowel movement and is associated with looser or more frequent bowel movements or harder or li uh, less frequent bowel movements. Other common symptoms of IBS include abdominal bloating or distension, passage of excessive gas, and even passage of mucus. IBS and other forms of bowel irregularity are fairly common, affecting 10 to 30 percent of the population to some degree. Symptoms typically start during early adulthood, but can occur earlier or later in life. Although we can't always concretely identify the cause or trigger, we know there are definite risk factors for IBS. These include diet, stress, GI infections, psychological or physical abuse, and genetics, just to name a few. IBS tends to be a lifelong condition, although symptoms can wax and wane over time. How is IBS diagnosed? Unlike some other GI diseases, there's no definitive test for IBS. For individuals with typical symptoms of IBS, no additional testing such as blood tests, endoscopy, x-rays, and CT scans is warranted. Sometimes your doctor may order tests to rule out other diseases, as IBS symptoms are not always specific for IBS. If you do go through tests, they have likely returned normal. And I tell my patients, like a car, all the parts in place appear to be working, but there are knocks and pings in their digestion causing these symptoms. So how is IBS treated? How you manage IBS depends in part on the type of symptoms you have and how bad they are. Like with other diseases, diet, exercise, and stress management can be important as diet and stress are known symptom triggers. I don't generally recommend a very restrictive diet, but simply avoidance of foods you notice worsen your symptoms. If your symptoms are difficult to manage on your own, I would recommend that you see your provider for more specific dietary recommendations, as well as to discuss whether or not you may benefit from medicines to help with the pain, bloating, diarrhea, and constipation. I hope you found this information helpful.